You know, do I go half a mile down the river and keep trying it? Or is this proof enough that nobody's going to bite it? I would be in the mindset that if you got a, at least got one on temporarily. Yeah. Okay, I got to stick with it. It's just a matter of placement now. Sure. There's a fish. That's a little better one. As you were saying, <laughs> the one bass bought, bit it. The second one did too. Come on, buddy. Come on in here. You got to get on the land so I can get you on camera. Finally. Woo! How long have we been out here? Uh, about two hours. <laughs> Dang God. We've gone, what, half a mile? Yeah, barely, maybe. <laughs> two hours and half a mile. I knew they were here. I couldn't figure them out. I threw on this crawl. Last one I got, and wouldn't you know, that's what caught a fish. All right, thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Ooh, that was nice. All right. I hope I don't lose this crawfish. All right, YouTube. Oh, hang on. Tree. Dang it. Look out. Oh, there went my brim. YouTube. Oh, gone it. I turned my camera off. I was trying to turn it back on and show you all the brim I just caught. Hey, got it. <sighs> anyway. I was about to say that desperate times calls for desperate measures. So I started throwing rooster tail. Other than that one decent bass, had nothing but little nibbles all day long. So I decided to tackle those little nibbles head first. Here we are. Rooster tail. In effect. That wasn't a brim. Or maybe it was. He's in the tree, whatever you. That's a decent sized brim. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. He's under a limb. No, oh, my rooster tail's on a limb. Oh, check him out, dude. Woo! Nice wow. That is a beautiful sunfish, dude. Thank you. Wow. That's almost pan size right there. Dang, he came out of nowhere and crushed it. Wow. All right, now i got to find my uh, leather and deal with that treble hook. Man, that's a big one. Yeah, you're right. I think that is pan size. Woo, I'm telling you. Mm. You know what they say? Hand size, pan size. He's almost hand size. Check him out. That's a pretty fish, man. Got the blue. It is, yeah. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Gosh, I should have been fishing for y'all all day. <laughs> I thought I just okay. do I? Rooster tail. Yeah. yeah. So I just turned the camera on because I'd hooked one back there and lost him. Mm. I told him I'd been fighting a little nibbles all day, and I decided to confront him head on. Like old Bugs Bunny used to say, if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Looney Tunes logic, baby. <laughs> oh, there's one. A little fella. That's all right. We don't mind little fellas. Y'all know Alabama floats don't mind little fellas. Hang on, buddy. I'm going to get you off real quick. I 
Let's see how many hooks you got in there, too. All right. There you go. Woo! A little fella. Appreciate you. Oh, man. After three hours catching a whole bunch of nothing. Sure is fun getting some panfish. There's one. Man, this thing is slapped full of sunfish, y'all. I ain't slapped full. We're going to catch them. As long as they bite, we will catch them. The bass with me today, y'all. I gave up. I brought a limited tackle box. Because I'd never fished here before, and I thought we were going to be riding in a van with a bunch of people like most outfitters. Turns out, not a whole lot of folks out today. So, I brought a limited tackle box for nothing. Either way, I didn't have a whole lot to challenge the bass with. So I had to give up and start catching these little dudes. Appreciate you, brother. Nope. One hole back there was just non-stop action. Now it's picking back up. Now it's picking back up. Hang on, buddy. Come on, little fella. There you go. Hang on. There you go. Hang on. Hang on, buddy. We're going to get you out. We're going to get you out. I say we are. Eventually. There we go. There we go, man. Appreciate your buddy. 